So last season we looked at a starting 11 made up of players who Chelsea had out on loan and it was a pretty strong team with the likes of Juan Cuadrado and Loic Remy lining up as well as youngsters such as Andreas Christensen. Well this season we're going to do the same thing and make a new Chelsea loan 11 using players who the Blues have sent out temporarily this season. In goal it's Jamal Blackman. Yet again it's Jamal Blackman in between the Chelsea loan sticks as he enters his fourth loan spell away from Stamford Bridge. The Croydon born stopper spent last season at League 2 with Wigan Wanderers where he got his first taste of league football. The 23 year old has jumped up two divisions this season joining Chris Wilder's newly promoted Sheffield United side who were making waves in the championship. While Blackman is certainly impressing at Bramall Lane it doesn't seem too likely that he'll be taking the number one slot of Thibaut Courtois at Chelsea anytime soon. At right back it's Fakayo Tomori. A player comfortable at both right back and centre back, Fakayo Tomori is plying his short term trade in the championship, joining Hull City for the season along with fellow Chelsea teammate Ola Aina. This is Tomori's second taste of championship football, spending the second half of last season on loan at Brighton as the Seagulls won promotion to the Premier League. It's been an exciting year for Tomori who was part of the England under 20 squad that won the World Cup this summer although you may have seen a more embarrassing moment for the youngster, scoring an own goal from almost the halfway line against Guinea. At centre back it's Thomas Callas. The Czech Republic international has been a Chelsea player for 7 years but has only ever made 2 Premier League appearances for the club, with his Premier League debut coming in a 2-0 win against Liverpool, made famous for a Steven Gerrard slip, a Denver bar strike and a Reds title collapse. For the second season in a row, Callas is on loan at Fulham, who narrowly missed out on promotion last time out. With Conte playing three centre-backs at Stamford Bridge, Callas must be keen to get back to his parent club, whom he signed a new four-year deal with in the summer. He's alongside Kurt Zuma. Speaking of players who signed new contracts before being farmed out, Kurt Zuma signed a bumper six-year deal at Chelsea this summer before heading to Stoke City for a year, where Mark Hughes does his best to copy Antonio Conte's 3-4-3 formation. A player that Conte surely shouldn't have sent out on loan, Zuma is impressed ever since arriving from St Etienne with his pace getting Chelsea out of some tricky situations at times. A lengthy layoff delayed Zuma's development but he will surely be a future Chelsea regular in years to come. At left back it's Jada Silva. While last season we were able to call upon Abdul Baba Rahman to play on the left for our Chelsea loan team, this time out we're going to have to head to League One and Charlton Athletic where 19 year old Jada Silva is enjoying his second loan spell at the Valley with the Addicts sitting in the playoffs as they look to return to the Championship. In midfield it's Lewis Baker. A repeat from last season's Chelsea loan 11, Lewis Baker is back playing football in English shores having spent the past two seasons on loan at Chelsea feeder club Vitesse Arnhem. Scoring 10 Eredivisie goals last term, Baker is enjoying his longest run in the championship, joining Gary Monk's Millersbury side who are looking to gain promotion back to the Premier League at the first time of asking. With one FA Cup appearance to his name with Chelsea, will Baker ever become a first team regular at Stamford Bridge? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Next up we've got Ruben Loftus-Cheek. At 21 years old, Ruben Loftus-Cheek's temporary move to Crystal Palace is the midfielder's first loan move away from the club, which is quite odd for a Chelsea youngster with so much potential. Loftus-Cheek was denied a loan move to Newcastle or Brighton last season with Chelsea wanting him to play Premier League football, so instead he stayed at the bridge to make limited appearances en route to the Premier League title. Now at Palace, Loftus-Cheek has shown flashes of his talent, but he's in a team that is currently bottom of the league without scoring a goal. Also in midfield it's Jeremy Boger. The Frenchman has had loan spells with Rennes and Granada so far in his career but is now playing in England, joining Birmingham City for the season towards the end of the transfer window before Harry Redknapp was relieved of his duties. While St Andrews isn't looking like a great destination for Boga, he can take positives from the fact that he was actually in the Chelsea lineup at the start of the season, starting the game against Burnley only to be substituted after an early Gary Cahill red card. Our fourth midfielder is Casey Palmer. One of Huddersfield's promotion heroes, Casey Palmer is back at the John Smith Stadium for a second spell on loan, having played an important role in getting the Terriers into the top flight, despite missing a portion of the season due to injury. After returning in the playoff final, Palmer signed a new deal with Chelsea before heading back to West Yorkshire for his first taste of top flight football. It might be a stretch to say that Palmer is going to be a Chelsea regular in the future, but some good performances in the Premier League for Huddersfield could at least forge out a decent top flight career for the midfielder, be it at Chelsea or elsewhere. Up front we've got Izzy Brown. Back to back players who were part of David Wagner's promotion side, Izzy Brown has followed up his loan spell at Huddersfield with a move to newly promoted Brighton, who finished three places above the Terriers last season. 
Brown had starred the year on loan at Rotherham United, as well as being a Vitesse the year before, but now the hairband donning forward has a chance in the Premier League under Chris Hutton. With just one Premier League appearance for Chelsea under his belt, Brown already has a Premier League winner's medal thanks to Jose Mourinho, but I doubt he'll be getting a second one this season at the Amex. And finally we've got Tammy Abraham. Last season was a breakout year for Tammy Abraham, who had his first taste of the Football League, joining Bristol City on loan for the season, where he scored 23 championship goals. After scoring for fun in the second tier, the next port of call had to be the Premier League, and Paul Clemens Swansea City were the lucky team who got the strikers' services, and Abraham has had an indifferent start at the Liberty, scoring two goals as he gets to grips with the top flight. Will he get a fair crack of the whip when he returns to Chelsea? Don't bank on it, but he'll probably score goals wherever he's playing. So that's our Chelsea alone 11 for this season. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.